Almighty God, and Heavenly Father, Lord, this afternoon we come before you with our humble hearts, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you have given us, Lord, with our ladies today. And we want to ask you to bless each and everything um, that is prepared for us, Lord. Lord, guide us through this day, Lord. Bless the ladies. They are beautiful, Lord. They are wonderful. And today we just want to salute every woman that is present and outside our Lord. And that we want to give them that opportunity to know that they are very, very special. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the hands that prepared this opportunity, this occasion for us today. But I am a proud of God and I think you can do it for me. You know, but I get a little bit of a party when I sit in a cake for a crack. You know, but I scrape to for God to pray for me. I think you can do it for me and I pray for you. Because I was so broken in an overbook, I was so hurt, there was no hope, I didn't see a way out of this life. You know, all the work that was coming, all the drugs that was coming into an overbook, they used me to test the work. I can just know what the drugs I can I can not see as rich, but I can mal geraak, and as I mal geraak from the drugs, then I can tell them as now the week is rich, you know. But that is how bad it went in this community for me. And I just wanted to come out, but there wasn't a way out. And eventually in 2006, I got an opportunity to get out of drugs, out of tuk, out of, you know. I get to work in the art, and I get to, you know, a process that I begin in my life, where I can change it, you know, and I get to do it in the middle of the day. You know, I started, I think the faith was the most important element in my life that brought me the strength that I needed, you know. So while I was practicing my faith and, you know, all the things that you do to practice your faith, you pray, you do what the Word says, you do everything, you be good to people. So all of these things I was now busy doing, you know. And one day while I was busy at the Ark, um, we had the wellness day. And um, there was all different types of motivations and there was testings and stuff happening. And one of the test results came back and it said, Martina, you're positive for HIV. I think, here, it is 25. And he said, he's going to do it from AIDS. But I can't see a reaction on my face, because I'm going to hold my top, so I'm going to top up, you know. I can't see a reaction on my face, I'm going to do it from AIDS, you know. And I just tell her, listen, just give me the band that says I'm negative. Because they're here to guide you, to help you. We need help. There's a time in your life when you need help. And then a time will come when you must give help. And then a time will come when you must be the help. You know, so I want to encourage you with that today. You know, the same thing. I come out of the same issues, the same situation. People said if you have AIDS, drugs, do it, nothing. But the story that God showed to me in my life is a different story. You know, it's of power, of strength, of peace, and of love. You know, and of still dreaming. Just, um, my daughter was born in 2015. And the two of us had an opportunity to go to Amsterdam and the Netherlands. So we went on a plane. A plane, my sister, my dream, you know. But I had the opportunity to go 
go, but you know, so nothing amazing for the love of God. I don't know. 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 So this has been the best 16 years of my life. I wouldn't change it for anything. I would take it just as it is. Because yeah. I am the woman today because of that. So thank you very much. are multiple women striving towards women's rights and equality and others still being held hostage by not being given equal rights and opportunities. The list of countless women that have been fighting for the rights and equality of women has steadily increased in numbers similar to those whose rights have been taken away from them, not only while living but in death as well. So we remember those individuals and groups who has been paving the way for generations to come. The Sultan Bao Center seeks to improve the quality of life for individuals, families and communities, irrespective of diversity. In addition, assisting those with regards to referrals, the necessary agencies which provide trauma and grief counseling, which is experienced before, during and after active addiction. Job readiness causes, as well as ensuring the client receives holistic assistance which encourages and motivates independence and self-sufficiency. Thus, implementing and striving through the freedom of addiction, the right to empower oneself and to reach one's full potential. So in conclusion, I would like to thank you guys for giving this opportunity to speak to you. Um, I did not know that they'd be like Lika man, you look by a Lika the other Those who don't know me, my name, that is me. Um, it will be a little of a secret with you. So anyway, now we did see the people in my practice. And the old woman is like, Jim, what did you do? Jim, what did you do? And I'm all at scramble. Whoa, see the means are nervous and outside. So, but it's nervous because we want to address you today, and that means that you guys are so important to us. Women, they say last week I heard something, woman was made from the rib. Sticky pinchy. Ma wat is ons vandag? Die rugraad van society. Okay? And just that enough, that is enough for us to move forward. Um, thank you to the colleagues who has added so much value to, um, I think, your lives and your journey. I'm going to tell you what Women Empowerment is to me. I started at Sultan Bauer the 11th of January 2022. I've never been more empowered since then for the past how many months is it? I just ah yeah. I've never been more empowered, and that's because of you guys. So can you please, and because of the staff, mm. my colleagues, can can we give each other a hand? I think we must acknowledge how amazing we are, and how much we do, but also how much burdens we carry. I had this thing where I was going to say woman, Women's Day was created in the before, but it's is rather my colleague also in sync. She said it started in 1994. People marched to the union buildings and they were going to fight for their rights, and they did. 
and we should thank them, our ancestors and also forefathers. And thank, thankful to them we have certain rights, but we must recognize some of the rights we still don't have. Yes. We still don't get equal pay to our, our male yes. colleagues, but also like Peter and Anna, or also like Peter and Anna. No? Yes. Yes. No? Yes. 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 The point I'm trying to make is we need to empower ourselves. Yes. No one is going to empower us. We need to empower ourselves yes. and we need to empower each other.